Good morning, everyone. Happy whatever day it is that you're watching this. Today is a normal work day. I figured I would take you guys along in a day in my life as I do every month. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I like to say that at the beginning and you'll hear more about that later. Today, I have some editing to do. I've got some filming to do. That's my typical work day. But I also need to clean out this region over here. I've got some new makeup I've been playing with. Uh, my vanity drawers, do you want a sneak peek? You're gonna die. They're such a mess. This is why I have to do like vanity reorganization every month or two they get so messy that i can like barely shut it so here in a little while i will take you through this so i'm going to reorganize this put a lot of this back in my makeup stash over there and then i'll show you what i end up putting in my everyday vanity drawers here to use over the next few months i'm kind of in at the time i'm filming this i'm pre-filming it so you're seeing it while i'm actually in europe but right now i'm in kind of preparation mode trying to make sure everything's squared away everything's put away, organized so that when I get back from the trip, I can hit the ground running. Because the most stressful part about getting back from a trip, I'm sure you all agree, will be like unpacking, getting everything back and squared away. So I don't want any other extraneous messes. So that's the plan for the day. But first things first, we need some coffee and I need to shower again. So I'm gonna make some breakfast. Most weekdays we try to do green smoothies, but obviously some days I just don't want a green smoothie. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have some eggs and I like to crumble up. We, are, we don't eat vegan, but we really like these uh, vegan breakfast sausages, like genuinely. So I'll usually take one of these and crumble it up in the pan and then kind of scramble it with the eggs and it is so delicious. And they're so good because they taste kind of sweet, like apple maple flavored and mm, they're really, really good. By the way, this sausage, I'm pretty sure if you do Weight Watchers, they're only one point per link. So I actually ended up crumbling two of them. Well, and then I dropped one. So this boy just had a feast. I hope he doesn't get sick. The eggs are zero points. So this ends up being a two point breakfast and it's actually really filling and absolutely delicious. So now that the sausage is fully cooked, that's when I pour the eggs on top. And voila, look at that boy. I just fed you breakfast and you stole one of these sausages. By the way, we get a lot of questions about why we have a TV in our bathroom. I know it seems weird. It was weird to me when Tyler, my husband, um, said we should hang it here. This is a cheap, cheap, like $30 TV we bought years ago. We actually used to have at our apartment. And so we just still had it. And Tyler was like, you know what? We already had the little wall mount and we had an extra Chromecast because we've kind of switched to fire sticks. So he was like, why don't we just put it up there? And then while you're getting ready in here, or if you're showering, you could have YouTube videos on whatever. I'm like, uh, okay. So it's kind of been awesome. I would never have thought to do this, but it, it's actually pretty useful. <laughs> well, I just rounded the corner to this sweetheart coming home. I bought myself some flowers. <laughs> you're so pretty. I just felt like treating myself, so. Mm, treat yourself. Oh, that was sweet. Anyway. Did you get the pens I asked you to get? I did get the pens. <laughs> I got uh, some water filters for our water filtration system. Very, very exciting. exciting. So I got some stuff for our trip. <laughs> and I got some different stuff that I don't normally get. Because I feel like when we travel a lot and I've got like half full things. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to buy some new stuff for this trip. So I bought AM and PM CeraVe, which I, Jessica's talked about CeraVe. She said it was good. So. It is very good. I told him, I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe you bought that. I probably had some of those like in my skincare drawers. I love this brand and I love those products. Yeah. So that was just cute. Just Side note, these are the pens I had requested that Tyler bring me from the store. These are my favorite. I have another favorite I get on Amazon, but they write a little bit thinner. These write super thick. And if you know what I mean, then you would love these. Like if you like that. These are the best. The only crummy part is those light green ones are not very good. So. Little behind the scenes sneak peek. Typically when I'm filming, I actually turn the ring light off. Ooh, gotta swatch there. I turn the ring light off and just have these side ones on because the light coming in from the window is plenty. So I love that and it just gives, I just, I just love sunlight. So today I'm filming a video about YouTube beauty guru favorites, kind of testing out these products that other YouTubers have said they love to see if I like them. And I'm so excited about it. If this video is already up when you're watching this, I'll link it below and in the eye. And if not, stay tuned. We tried a lot of good products today. Literally every single product I tried for this video was really good. And I'm looking at my travel makeup bag like, 
do I switch out some things I've already packed? Cause now I'm like, I wanna bring that and I wanna bring this. And I'm like, Jessica, you've only tried it for one day, calm down. Next step is I'm gonna shoot some close-ups and thumbnail options for the video. And then I need to edit another video. By the way, this top I'm wearing is from Target. I can link it below. I love the fit of it cause it's not super fitted. So it's still comfortable. Like if you're wearing tight pants and you're like, mm, I feel uncomfortable in my midsection, it's still forgiving in that way. But then it's still like fitted in the arms and stuff. They had this, I think they have like plenty of different patterns. So I actually just ordered these hoops are starting to tarnish i always buy like cheap ones because i don't know i lose earrings and jewelry I, I i find it really hard to spend a lot of money on jewelry i really do so i always buy just like cheap hoops and then buy new ones like every year <laughs> so i just placed an order on amazon it had like 2,000 reviews it was like a three pack of silver gold and like rose gold hoops that are a little bit bigger than this and they're thin and it was like 10 bucks and I was like, oh, and the reviews were really good. So I'm like tight. So editing Jesse here to say the hoops came in and they're incredible. I've already included them in a favorites video. That's how backlogged I am on what I pre-filmed. But I mean, they're thin, they're well-made. I like that it's got like a clasp that goes all the way around the ear. And like I said, three for $10, incredible. Already on cup of coffee number two. <laughs> So I'm making some lunch. One of my favorite quick lunches is to grab a wrap. This is my favorite right now. I just, I like the texture. It's a thinner wrap, but it's it's exactly what I need. You know what I mean? Um, and then some of the Applegate Farms lunch meats. I love these. The ham one is really good. And then some diced up tomato, a little bit of mayo and some pepper. And it's so good and surprisingly filling. I'll usually eat like some blackberries on the side or a banana or something to make it a little bit more filling, but it's quick, it's easy, delicious. If we have any open, I, oh my gosh, black olives are my favorite, favorite, favorite. So some of you guys might think it's weird. It is absolutely delicious. So I've got my lunch done here. Honestly, a lot of time, I mean that, I'll probably still be a little bit hungry after that, let's be real. These are some of my favorite snacks right now. These wisps are literally just like Parmesan cheese. Like I think there's like two ingredients, yeah. Parmesan cheese, sea salt enzymes. So that's a fun little snack that I, you can't eat much of them because it's such a strong flavor. So it's kind of satisfies my need for a crunch. I also like these. I try not to eat too many of them, but they're really good. I just got a call from my OBGYN and I needed to get some tests run for different reasons, just because of some complications I had during my last and only pregnancy I've ever had. And so all the results came back good. So that just like, I'm like, it's a huge relief, huge, huge, huge relief. So I felt like sharing that because that put me in a great mood. Not that I wasn't already in one, but I'm in an even better mood. I don't really know what to do with all this, you guys. So I've got, I need to get everything out of here and just redo this. But the problem is I also have over here, a lot of these are new products. Some of them I bought, some of them are like, Leftover PR, I'm still getting in from brands that I either want to get PR from or are ones that I've told to stop and they just won't listen. But I need to organize these because this is not usable to me. It's incredibly uh, overwhelming. I was going to show you that one palette I have been enjoying lately is this ColourPop Double Entendre palette. It's so pretty. It's very neutral but I've been enjoying it, figured I would show that to you guys. One of the only holiday purchases I've made so far is this little Clinique cheek set, which I think is so cute. Packaging is beautiful. The glitter doesn't like come off or anything because that was my fear. Um, but there, I just thought that was so beautiful. I'm like, I would use that year round. But I also have some like Thrive Cosmetics things that I actually purchased to try out for probably a future video but again those don't need to be on my vanity if i'm not trying them out right now i have a few things i've tried in recent videos i need to organize into my collection the l'oreal voluminous one i tried recently this kylie blush i've been trying out lately and enjoying so like all of those should be actually in my collection anything that i'm not trying to use right now i think i'm going to put into my closet <laughs> That stresses me out just thinking about it, but there's not room in here. And if I'm not using it yet, there's no reason to have it in there. Okay, so the next step is gonna be, I'm gonna take everything out of here and anything that I know is not going back in is gonna go back in my collection and then we'll reorganize this. I literally have four brow pencils in there. Are you freaking kidding me? Who needs that many in a drawer? Got the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I've been playing with this, this a lot, but I don't, I mean, it's, I just can't justify the money that you'd have to spend on this. I really can't. And I like 
the shadows well enough, but I don't know that these are any more blendable or pigmented or anything like that than other palettes I already like that even when they're high end are half the price of this, if not a third the price. Yeah, like this Physicians Formula one, really blendable other than the one shade, really, really good. That is like on par with Natasha Denona. I'm sorry, I don't care what anyone else says. So I've got everything I need to put away in my collection. I've got things I know for sure are gonna go back in here, which I'll show you in just a second. What's crazy is if you recall, when I showed my organization of this entire makeup collection, I can link that above and down below, there were so many less lip products. So that's why I declutter, because I try them out, that's my job, and I enjoy trying out makeup. But I also know that I to keep 50 glosses is silly because they're all gonna go bad. So that's why periodically I do declutter. So I'm kind of combing through before I put all those other things away to see if there's anything I wanna move into my other drawer over there. A lot of these are still new that I want to try out, but I've tried a couple times and I know I wanna keep for now. So that's why I'm willing to put it in here before I've really given it a full go. So again, looking like at my primers to see if there's anything I'd like to be using right now that I haven't used in a while. Kind of thinking about this brightening youth glow. It's just kind of sitting in there and I kind of felt meh about it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't feel like it did a lot. But I've heard a lot since then that there's a lot of like anti-aging stuff in this for real and people love it. So I wanna give this more of a chance. So that's gonna go over with me. I was just going through my concealers. I think I wanna give the Tarte Creases Concealer a little more love. I liked it. It's a little bit sticky for a concealer, but I wanna, I guess my feelings aren't 100% either way. So I wanna give this more of a chance. Oh, all right, uh, this this is overwhelming. If it's up, I'll link it down below. If not, stay tuned. But I did do a five new luxury foundations video on Pat McGrath, Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona, Milk, and one more. But anyway, that video is was a lot of work and it's part of why I go, oh, when I look at all this, because it's there's just so much. Oh, and I have been wanting to try the Lila B All Aglow Face Mist. So I'm gonna pull that up. So looking down here, trying to decide if there's any of this stuff I would like to move over. I think I'm gonna move my Marie Antoinette back over. This is just one of my favorites ever. I've already got a brow pencil over there, so I don't necessarily need to, although I did wanna move a clear brow pencil over there to give it a try. So this is an absolute mess. Again, a declutter is gonna have to come soon. It just won't be in the next few weeks. So just kind of dealing with it for now because it won't fit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna move the butter bronzer over. When I tried that in a recent video, again, I was like, I forgot how good this is. So that's gonna go over. I think I'm gonna move this one, this MAC Warm Soul. I like never give it any love. So that's gonna go over with me too. Highlight wise, I think I'm gonna move the Pearl Luminizer over from JCAT. Face oil wise, I wanna move over the Vichy Mineral 89. It's really, really good. And I, again, forget I have it. And it's really great under makeup. It's super hydrating. So that's gonna go over. Powder wise, I think I'm going to bring over the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for my under eye and this Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. So a new product I wanted to bring in to the drawers is this Farsali Unicorn Antioxidant Lip Mask. So in this drawer, it's mostly face stuff. So I've got the La Mer Foundation, the Misha BB Cream, the two primers. I also pulled the Physicians Formula Dewy Blush Elixir in Gorgeous Peach, my favorite. Then I've got the Pharmacy Vitamin C Serum that I don't love because of the cherry smell. Uh, the Visha, the Vichy Mineral 889 Serum, the CeraVe SPF 30, and the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream that I love. I also have that Lila B A Glow Face Mist. Over here, I have the Butter Bronzer. I forgot I had already pulled out the Kylie Blush in Batty on the Block. Uh, that's a really pretty light pink. And then I've got the Milani Luminoso. I ended up taking out the MAC one because it's similar to this Milani one. Not the same, but they're similar. And I want to use this Milani one. Then I've got that Laura Mercier Lucetti powder and the Makeup Forever powder foundation over there. This one's a little bit more organized. I've got a washcloth I change out every few days, some various tools like a sharpener, scissors, and a puff. Then I've got this Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Oil I love to just throw on when I'm first sitting down to do my makeup. I've got the Nabla Brow Pencil, the Milk Clear Brow Gel. I've got the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in Light I just recently tried the Nabla Cereal Liner and the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. Again, obviously these are recent additions that I've been trying. 
the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, this Milani liner. It's their Stay Put Eyeliner. I really like super black. And then I've got that blush thing I showed you guys earlier from Clinique, the J-Cap Pearl Luminizer. I have this uh, Kylie Jenner palette. I don't think this is worth $40, to be honest with you. This is absolutely no better than Drugstore, but I don't think it's bad. Then that ColourPop palette, the Double Entendre one that I'm really liking that I actually think is better formula than the Kylie Jenner one. And then I've got the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Ray that I've been playing with, the Charlotte Tilbury Marie Antoinette, that new Farsali Lip Mask, the Charlotte Tilbury Corrector, and, and then the ColourPop Concealer and the Tarte Creases Concealer. So that's everything I'm gonna be messing with over the next month. It's so funny because I get a lot of people asking like, why don't you have any lip products in there? Like, where are your lip liners? Honestly, I think I said this in my last like Shop My Stash Vanity Tour video, it, the drawers are right there and for lips I change my mind every day about like do I want a gloss do I want a red lip a pink lip a neutral lip a, and so for that for me since that is so different day to day I'd rather just go to the drawer and pick out what I want that's why I typically have lip balm maybe a gloss but even then I feel like I forget about glosses that I put in there because I always go to the drawer so I'm at my parents house so it's getting easy <laughs> but oh there's my sister Mimi Maria I'm like, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> she said we sound the same too. I'm like, do we? Daddy. Yeah, we do. She said we look the same. I was like, yeah, do we? We do, still here. <laughs> How I find my dad right now. Bring me coffee. Dad, you've got to switch them the other way. No, you <laughs> close enough. <laughs> okay. It is later than I would care to admit, and we are starving. So I need to make dinner quickly. We I got Gigi home from my parents. We played with her a bit, better some dinner, and now Tyler's giving her a bath and putting her to bed. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, and tonight's meal is a very quick one. It's a 20 minute meal. If you've never heard of HelloFresh, it is a meal delivery service where you get to choose between over 20 chef curated seasonal recipes that are delivered to your door each week. And tonight's meal I'm gonna make is the chicken sausage and spinach ricotta ravioli. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely amazing. I love that you always get a full color recipe card where it's got all of the steps in order with pictures to help you along the way. And that's something we really appreciate about HelloFresh is that you don't have to be good in the kitchen to be able to make these recipes. Another thing is it kind of forces you to try making a dish that maybe you wouldn't have made on your own. And the other great thing about HelloFresh is that you can easily hop on their website. You can change your delivery dates, your food preferences. You can skip a week if you need. It's so easy to do all online. It takes a lot of guesswork out of what meals we're gonna make that week, and that I appreciate so much. If you're a busy person, for whatever reason, this is an amazing service to have. So for tonight's dinner, we're gonna be browning some sausage, cooking some ravioli. There's some tomato and lemon involved. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So you can get started with nine free meals. That's $90 off your first month of HelloFresh, including shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter Jessica Braun 9 That's one of the best deals they've had. So if you are interested, this would be a great time to try it. So I'm plating this up. As I always say, it's so Instagram worthy. I cannot not wait to try this. We literally had to pause filming because Pinocchio was eating his food <laughs> so loudly. And I was like, I am so hungry. I'm about to- It was unbelievable how loud it was. It was like comically loud. Anyway, so uh, this looks delicious. I was smelling the sauce, like the sausagey sauce that it made. And I was like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Okay, here we go. Listen. Every time I say this is the most delicious thing I've ever had, somehow it finds a way to top it. It's so good. There's like a sour creaminess to the mm -hmm. sausage yes. sauce. You're gonna just absolutely love it. We're currently watching Superstore, literally one of my favorite shows. And it's funny because I loved The Office and Parks and Rec and I had heard Superstore was kind of funny, but I was second guessing it. And then we started watching it and it literally quickly, quickly became a favorite show. I would say it takes like three or four episodes, but I'm telling you, if you start it, you will love it. It's on Hulu and it's amazing. Whew. Okay, it's like after 10, I'm so tired. I'm about to drink this tea read in bed, um, but I, of course, need to wash my makeup off and take my jewelry off. Today was just one of those days, I feel like I said this in the last one too, that was just weirdly exhausting. I think for me, I really get tired. I mean, I'm kind of doing double the work when I pre-film before travel. I'm not complaining. Obviously, we're traveling by choice. We are so excited, but it is a stressor. You know, you kind of, like, even as a teacher, if I knew I was, like, 
going to take a few days off of work, you have to plan a lot of like sub plans for that. And it adds a lot of stress to those days or the week leading up to that trip or whatever it was. Same thing here. I mean, it's just two additional weeks of work in the same amount of time that I would do two other weeks of work. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's a lot, but I'm getting it done and I'm so excited about this trip and it'd be worth it because I like having videos for you guys going up. I try to stick to a pretty regular schedule Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless something weird happens, you know. Today I used, by the way, this glitter you're seeing is the Hourglass Scattered Light in Ray. It does have a little bit of fallout, but it's just, it, it's so cool. Like, it's just one of those glitters that just really sparkles and shines. I just went and grabbed from my nightstand the book I'm reading. So I'm still reading Game of Thrones, the first book. It's so good, but it's one of those books that since I already know the story, it's enjoyable to read, but I wouldn't mind having another book that I can kind of toggle between. It's kind of like when I reread Harry Potter. I can read other books and then just bounce back to Harry Potter when I'm in the Harry Potter mood. <laughs> one of my best friends, Emily, loaned this to me and she was reading it for a book club she's in. It's called The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda and I'm literally at this point a singular chapter in and I'm like this is pretty good like it's pretty rare that you start a book and you like it right away but this one's interesting definitely kind of a thriller type book so I'm gonna hang up the phone here um <laughs> I love you guys so much thank you for watching if you want to see my last day in the life video I did a few weeks ago I will link that up in the eye and down below in fact I've made a playlist if you want to binge watch all of the ones from this year you can certainly do so if you want but I gotta, this hair is just like bouncing in the most annoying of ways. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.